Mono versus stereo amplifiers. This short little question comes from Masood in Pakistan. Masood writes, Hi Paul, is it better to use two separate mono amplifiers instead of using one stereo amplifier for better quality? And why? Okay, well, it's always better to use two separate amplifiers in mono. See you tomorrow. Oh, we forgot why. <laughs> so here is, uh, what, which one is this? This is probably from an M1200 or 700. I don't remember which one. I'm guessing this is an M1200. So this is a complete amplifier. Well, complete without the input stage. You can see, see the vacuum tube? I'm sitting at Darren Meyer's uh, bench. Uh, so you can see the vacuum, well, you can see the vacuum tube um, uh, socket, and that's where the vacuum tube would come out like that. Here's the back of the amplifier, and then you can see all the capacitors that we line up for the power supply, because this is a completely separate input stage, and this is, this is where a lot of the magic happens, right? And then from there, she goes in uh, to this module, and this module from, from ICE is a 1200 watt into 4 ohm amplifier that the power supply and everything is contained. Now, I bring that up to you because that's what's important. Power amplifiers in particular are very, very sensitive to their power supplies. If you're sharing a power supply, as we would do in a stereo amplifier, you are modulating both channels with signals from the other. and you, Because we have to remember that an amplifier is a valve at the output of a power supply. So picture a power supply. You know, you've got your 110 coming in. We convert it to DC voltage. Now we have this big high voltage, right? And maybe it's 100 volts. Maybe it's 50, 60 volts. And it's just DC. It's just sitting there, right? And now the amplifier takes and modulates that. So for a little signal, we're just gonna we're just gonna open the valve a little bit from this power supply and let some of this power supply out to our speaker. And if we have a loud note, that valve, the amplifier, lets more of this power supply into our speaker. And by going up and down, letting more and less of this power supply into our speaker. I mean it's just literally your speaker is connected to this power supply through this valve, which is all this stuff <laughs> that we call a circuit uh, on there. But it's just a big valve. Okay, does that make sense? So if you're sharing a power supply that isn't regulated, and, and typically power supplies of power amplifiers are not regulated, they just do what they do. As I draw power out of this supply for one channel, it sort of brings the supply down. It starts modulating the supply. And if I then connect another one, you're getting some of that modulation into both channels. Now, we can clean it up with feedback. We can do all that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, you're always better off with a mono amplifier because it has its own power supply, its own box. There's no interference. I mean, talk about galvanic isolation which we talked about before. I mean, it ain't nothing. It's just physical here, physical there, right? So that's why a mono amplifier is so important if you can manage to afford one. We make, you know, the M700 series. We make the M1200s. Um, and there's plenty of mono amps out there. So just pick a good mono amp, and you will always be a happier camper. All right. Thanks, Masood. I'll talk to you later.